I'm going to let a few, pe few more people come on before I start talking. I come on a little early. Um... And like I said on um, my Facebook, I'm not coming on here to start start drama. I'm not an attention seeker. Um, so I don't want anyone to think that. Like, I'm not. Um, and I wasn't even going to say anything um, until what happened happened today. And this is not directly about Quentin. Um, I don't know any more than y'all do know about baby Q. Um, it's just something that happened today that I wanted to get straight, clear the air, um, stand up for myself, definitely. Um, so, <clears throat> what time is it? What time is it? Okay, um, I got just a a few more minutes, guys. I told everybody eight, but I wanted to go ahead and let some people get on. There's a lot of people right now sending me, um, friend requests. Um, honestly, I can't, I don't know how to get off and then accept it and get on. So I'm just going to stay on here. Um, hopefully I did make it public. So everybody should be able to see. Um, someone just sent me a message saying when you get on, if you put at everyone, then it'll share with everyone. All right, I guess I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, there's a lot of people. Okay, <clears throat> so as everyone knows, and I have got so many messages um, why I'm not talking out and why I'm not saying nothing. Um, because I didn't feel like it was my place. Um, I did keep Quentin, and I'm going to start from the beginning. How I met Billy Joe and Leilani is through a lady that used to go to my church, um, Miss Sandra. She, her and her mother, Miss Audrey, they're very awesome people. And she called me and asked me, told me the situation, and asked me if I was interested. The next day, I got a call from Billy Jo um, asking me if I could keep her two grandbabies. And I said yes. Going in, I had never met them. I didn't know the situation that was going on with Leilani. Billy Joe, Danny, none of them. Um, I started keeping them. And I didn't know anything at all. And then <clears throat> the more I seen, I seen a lot of stuff. And I was concerned. No, I did not call them facts. Because I voiced all my questions and concerns to Billy Joe, the grandmother. Um, she told me that she had custody of the boys. I didn't know why. She didn't tell me that. Um, but they were staying with Leilani. Billy Joe worked out of town. So when I started seeing things that wasn't quite right, I would call Billy Joe and I would tell her. I would text her. She didn't answer. She was at work. Um, she'd text me back and she'd say, okay, I'm going to talk to Leilani. Um, several times the boys were outside one particular morning. They were outside in the ditch. My daughter seen them and come running in. We went down there. Leilani was nowhere in sight. 
Um, I called Billy Joe. She got in contact with Leilani. Leilani was home. She was just in the house somewhere. Um, they would drop them off with no diapers. They would drop them off with no pull-ups. Uh, and when the baby came, Sky, they wouldn't send no milk. Two days, I had to call Danny because Leilani wouldn't answer me, answer me, which is her fiance, to bring me milk for Sky. Um, I kept texting Billy Joe. I took, my daughter took pictures and sent them to Billy Joe of Quentin having bruises. Um, everything that I'm telling you can be backed up. This is not hearsay. This is not me trying to get attention. Who wants to get attention over a baby? Um, we sent her pictures. I sent her multiple texts. Um, she texted me back one day and she said, okay, um, I'm tired of this. I want you to keep the babies permanently until I can get back home. I told her I would. And I did. So, it was about three, two to three hours later, she calls me back. She said, well, I'm going to give Leilani a chance. You know, she's a young mother. Um, I've got to be able to try to trust her. She said, I did a lot of bad things. I got my kids taken away. And I want Leilani, I, I want her to know that she can do anything she wants to do. And I'm going to support her. So I didn't keep them um, day and night. Leilani made it clear to me that she didn't want me to keep them like her mother had wanted me to. So I kept them during the day. They dropped them off at between 5.30 and 6. And they picked them up. Was supposed to, their schedule was 3.30. But sometimes they worked over and said, her boyfriend would say, text me and say, I need to work um, a couple extra hours to make up hours, so can you keep them until 6? I would do that. Um, we fed them. We took them places. I, I love them. They're kids. Like, who's not going to love a kid? Um, so that's a little backstory of how I even met them. Okay, now let's get to the day that this happened. I keep them every day, Monday through Friday. I kept them sometimes at night. At 5.29, they text me, no, I'm sorry, Tuesday afternoon, they went home at 4.30, 5 o'clock. I got up in the morning at 5 o'clock on Wednesday, because they usually got here around 5.30, 6 o'clock. I get a text at 5.29 saying, the kid, from Danny, the kids are not coming, Leilani is with them. I put Okay. Was it a little unusual? Yes, because even when she was off, I had them. She didn't know that we could see her. They sit on the front porch, but if me and the kids, and my kids too, but mine are basically grown, would go to leave, she would be on the front porch smoking, but she would duck and run inside so we wouldn't see her. But I had no problem keeping the babies. Was it for money? No, it wasn't. I charged them. I didn't even charge them for Sky. I charged them for the two boys, and it was $15 a piece, $30 a day. Okay, so back to what I was saying. So I text Danny, okay. Didn't hear nothing back from him. I got up. My husband went to work around 7.30. Um, we was outside. My son also lives on this road, so he was going to work as well around 8.30. From 7.30 until... 8.30, we was outside. We did not see Quentin. Nowhere. Okay. So then me and my girls, we go to McDonald's. They want a McDonald's. I got. I live on Chatham Parkway. The McDonald's is literally right down the road. On our way back, I get a text from Danny. He says, have you seen Quentin? I said, no. Why? Well, immediately I called him. And he said they couldn't find Quentin. Okay. So me and my oldest, well, my oldest daughter here with me, we go over there. We get in the car and we go over there. I let my other daughter out. When we get over there, I asked, okay, he's a little boy. He likes to play and seek. He likes to get in my daughter's closet and play. He could be in a closet. He could be in a cabinet. You know, maybe he's playing hide and go seek. Me and my daughter help you look. Um, they didn't want that. He stood there. He looked at me with the most coldest look I've ever seen and said, we've already looked. I said, okay. So I stood there for a minute 
And I looked around outside of where I was. Leilani was smoking a cigarette. And Danny was standing there. And I go to get in my car. I was going to call Billy Joe. And I did call Billy Joe. She didn't call him. Leilani didn't call the police until I said, have you called the police? And then she calls the police. Um, so we started to leave. Cops came behind me. I could not leave. Um, they, I guess they said whatever, what it was on the property had to stay there until after, um, they checked everything. So I left. I came back maybe about 30 minutes later. I asked Leilani and Danny, I said, do you want me to take, um, Zane home? So, you know, y'all got a lot going on. She said yes. Danny said yes. I asked him to get me some shoes for the baby. They got me shoes. I came home. I called Billy Joe. Billy Joe had no idea. I've never spoke badly about Billy Joe. Um, but today, she came to my house after I told her. I texted her. She called me at 6.30 this morning. I'm sorry. I'm everywhere because this has been a lie. She texted me. I mean, she called me at 6.30 this morning. We were talking. Everything was good. I texted her. I told her I was going to cook, that we were going to get flyers and put them everywhere of Clinton, and that we was going to do a prayer circle over here. Never said that we was going to do a memorial for Clinton because I didn't believe he was alive or that he had passed. Never did I say that. And I can back all this up because we have cameras. Like, everything I'm saying to you, I can back up. And, I, you know, it's just ridiculous. So, she told me basically not to text her no more because she thought that I was overstepping. Well, I am just the babysitter, but I took care of them kids when their mother didn't take care of them. Um, and I don't really have nothing to say bad about Danny because he would actually ask me these last few weeks, Miss Michelle, did the kids have everything they need? Um, did, do they have pull-ups? Because Leilani wouldn't do that. Now, um, another thing I want to get to, Billy Joe, after she barged in my house, after all that, she come down the road. I don't live far from her. She barged in my house. This is all on camera. I jump out my chair. She gets in my face, cussing me. I cussed her back. I said some pretty bad words. Yes, I did. Because she barged in my house. Okay. My daughter was also recording. She tried to take the phone from my daughter. Uh, she told me that she thought I took her grandbaby. Like, that is the worst thing that you could ever said to me. That is worse than punching me in the face. She did not hit me. I am not scared of her. She didn't hit me. Um, she just yelled in my face a lot, but I yelled right back, okay? Um, she said that I had sold her grandbaby. How do you do that? Someone that has been good to your grandkids, someone that has six kids of her own that are grown, how do you do that to somebody? And then she started screaming all the way down the road for my neighbors to hear. And like, I don't care because they know me. They know the person I am. And then she started saying that she paid $700 for my kids to go to um, Splash in the Burris. My kids are grown, okay? She asked me to take Quentin and Zane. Yes, she did buy the tickets. Just like I told the FBI agent. I never use them tickets. Them tickets are still there. The, the ticket thing is still on my phone. I never took her, grand, her grandkids. I never took mine. She's never did nothing for me. I literally did not charge them a lot of money to keep these babies because I was worried about these babies. And not only me, there's neighbors up and down this road that has seen these babies outside. And I'm getting a lot of mad faces, and that's okay because I have the truth. Every text that I have sent Billy Joe is on these phones. Every text, every conversation I've had with Billy Joe is recorded in my house. So the FBI can check this. I don't care. Like, I never want to go bash nobody. I am a Christian, but a Christian can stand up for herself, especially when you accuse me of stealing your grandbaby. I would never do that. I don't have anything on my record. I've never 
had defects at my house. My, my kids are grown. My kids have done really good. Like, I'm not, and I have no reason to judge anybody. I mean, I've did stuff in my life. I'm not perfect, but never the stuff like that. And I just love these kids. And I didn't steal nobody. I didn't, I didn't do anything wrong. So she can bash me all she wants to, but God don't like ugly. And it's going to come back on her for doing this. A hundred percent. So somebody keeps asking me and asks me, did I think Leilani do, did I, do I think Leilani done it? I'm going to tell you this, that a mother that lets her kids outside, that doesn't watch them, that numerous people have seen, that they, they're bruised, they're dirty, and there's plenty, plenty of evidence of this. You tell me what you think. I told uh, Billy Joe my concerns. I sent her stuff. And she didn't listen to me. So she can't blame anybody but herself for what has happened. Nobody. And I see a lot of people commenting, but I can't do that. I can't answer all these questions right now. Um, I don't know much about what's going on over there. I don't know what the FBI is saying. I did talk to the FBI. They checked my cameras. Um, I told them I would take when I called the police today on her because I was going to press charges. You can't just bust in someone's house and I'm still going to do it. I'm calling a lawyer Monday morning. You can't just bust in someone's house and then try to take their daughter's cell phone and hit their hand. You can't do that. Like that's not allowed. Um, but this has got out of hand. This is about Quentin. This is about monkey. And yes, I am just the babysitter, I guess. But I watched out for them kids more than their mother ever did. So you can say what you want about me. Have all the opinions you want. But it doesn't matter because I know the truth. And other people know the truth. And that is exactly what I wanted to say. That's it. I'm praying that Quentin is still alive. I'm I, I'm hoping he is. I would love to just be able to see his face. Um, he is a precious child. So is Zane. So is Sky. Um, I don't know what happened to him, but I know what they went through. I know what their mother didn't do for these kids. And she didn't. So this is this is what I wanted to say. I wanted to come on here and say that Billy Joe can spread all the lies that she wants about me. It is about finding the this baby, this precious baby. And you know what? God is in this situation. God knows. He, I don't know what hap I don't know what happened. God does, but it'll all come out. Everything that happened will come out. So hate me, like me, I don't care. This is the truth. It is my side, but it is the truth. And like I said, I told the FBI, they have all these phones. They have all the messages where I've sent. Literally, Quentin come over the other day with bruises, belt bruises on his arm and on his neck. I text Billy Joe. I never got a text back. I never got a text back. Um, so I don't know what happened to these babies. I just know that this baby. I just know that I didn't do anything to the baby. We loved him. And I think that it's not okay for Billy Joe just to come in my house and uninvited and do what she thinks she can do. And spread rumors about me. It's lies. So. That's all I got to say. Um, yes. Billy Joe did tell me that she had custody of the boys. Um, I'm answering a question. She did tell me she had custody of the boys. And that Leilani did not. Um, and. I, like I said. I've never said nothing about bad about Billy Joe. But she come after me for no reason. I, I know she's got emotions right now and people, you know, already comment on my thing. Well, you shouldn't do this to the grandma. Well, she shouldn't do it to me because I was the one that was here with the babies 
And all I was doing was trying to tell her what was going on. So if I'm a bad person for that, then let me a bad let me be a bad person for that. Um, could I go through the timeline again? Okay, at 529, I got a text on Wednesday morning saying that from Danny that they was not coming. Leilani was with them. Then at 9 o'clock, I got a text from Danny saying, asking me if I had seen him. I said, no. I called him immediately. He said they couldn't find him. I went over to their house. She did not end up calling the police until after I got there. Um, it was about, I think it was about 9.35, 9.40 when she, they finally called the police. Um, and literally, that that's all I know. All I know is what I've seen, and not just me, it, it's more people down here, this road. What I've seen when they were with Leilani. That's what I've seen. I never um, said that. I was their mother. I'm not their mother. I'm just someone that cares. That's it. I'm just someone that cares. And sometimes I think that gets me in trouble because I care too much. But um, but yes, that, that's all I got to say. I just wanted to set the record straight. I just wanted everyone to know what was going on. But I have texts. All the texts that Billy Joe and me text today, I never cussed her. I never said anything bad to her negative. She just went off on me for no reason. But I I can back everything up. Everything can be backed up. So I'm going to let it go after this. I'm not going to worry about it no more. And I'm going to put it in God's hands. That's all I can do. So thank you all for watching. Um, I know everybody on here. There's so many people around the world that is praying for a monkey. I called him monkey. Me and my girls called him monkey. Um, and he would just smile ear to ear and he smiled with his eyes when you called him monkey. He just smiled so big, but we're praying. We still have faith and that's all I got to say, but thank you guys, um, that joined. Thank you, um, for the positive remarks that's been coming in and thank you to the those who just are bashing me. It's okay. I know. So, all right. Well, I hope y'all guys have a good night. If you have any more questions, I can try to answer them in my message. Um, this is really just overwhelming to me, everything that's going on. Um, yes, ma'am. I do not think Billy Joe is innocent because, like I said, I got in contact with her several times about what was going on. And I never said that before. Um, but if, you know, you're going to blame me for this, and I've been so good to your grandkids. Um, I'm going to tell you how I feel. I feel like you should have come when I text you all them things and told you what was going on. Because them babies needed you. And you weren't there. So, yes, that is not my truth. That is the truth. So, y'all guys have a good night. I know y'all are praying. We are all praying. And thank you.